Eric Haugen. Check the description box below for tabs and backing tracks on my website, information about exactly what sound tools I'm using today, and all the other interesting and important links. Here we go. What is the Ronnie Wood Skelt? Really, it's just a diagonal pentatonic. Uh, I'm playing over the changes to Faces Debris, which is just F up to G minor. What a simple and great song. I love all the Ronnie Lane songs so much. I love Faces so much. That's it. That's all that's going on there. So the F diagonal major pentatonic scale is this. One, three, slide. Three, five. There's our first octave. And it's just going to do the same thing again, but because of the tuning of the instrument. Five. Sorry. Three, five, seven, five, seven. Change your finger out. Six. So that octave. And then the final octave was at six, eight, slide. That's ten. Eight, ten, slide. So we have this beautiful. And. I've, I have it all charted out. I'm going to right. That's in the that's in the shot there. I'm going to put all this stuff up on Patreon. Um, also, I'll just lump it all together. It's going to be on my website and Patreon. I'm just doing this one for free, just because honestly it didn't take me that long to tap this stuff out. So if it doesn't take me too long, I'll just make it free for y'all. Okay. Now let's look at what I did there. I believe I came in with a. Yeah, and so the other thing about Ronnie is his phrasing is so completely, perfectly lyrical. And he does the thing that I always say to do where he does not gas it so much that he's playing at the edges of his ability. You can feel that he is playing just dead in the middle there where he knows he's going to land everything, which I think is a good way to play. Anyway, I'm going to come in with a little bend there on that five. There's my first phrase. Three, five, three. And we're going to do a little slide. So that's from that third, uh, fifth of the D up to the seven. Tag this five. And then a little slide. And then just bendies. So that opening lick. I think that's what I did. It's honestly hard to remember because it's just all so floaty. The next lick is actually going to be out of a cage shape, out of this version of F. Again, where'd they go? This version, again, this is all going to be on my website and on Patreon. I'm just throwing all these charts up for free. It's going to be out of this one connecting back down to that one. It's kind of actually, like a lot of licks are like that. They kind of connect through. And yeah, the, the layers are, here's the major pentatonic for each of those two. Again, this is all going to be on the website, all going to be on my Patreon. So that next, yep, always happens. That next lick. Very cool little double stop out of this one here. Five and six. And now we're going to do some slideies. There it is. Very quietly there. And then we get to the one out of this structure here again. The charts. That one way up high. Oh, yeah, let's make sure you see my hand. That one up there. And then therefore, you like the nutty professor in here. 
that one there. Nope, 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 nope. Don't start on that note. That's not the root. That's not the tonal center. The root is there. So out of this version now of F and F major pentatonic. That's D minor. This is F. Because remember, it's, you know, the root structure is important. The tonal center is important. Like, that's how, that's just, all right, full detour. Remember, music has a, you know, any song has a fundamental resonating pitch that is the key, you know, or at least the section. Let's say for the, the key. And then chords happen, and they interact with that. And the chords have several notes in them, so that's already getting interesting. And then if you're going to play a, a melody on top of that, well, that's another thing that you're messing around with there. So it's very important to know those root structures and respect those, at least for me. Let's say for me. Anyway, the next lick is up there, which is a little bendy on this 12. You know, 12 up, down, 10, 12, slide forward, and then some double stoppies out of this one here. Uh, 15 and 15, gingerly getting this, no, sorry, that's 13 and 13, gingerly getting this 15. And then the last lick. Just a big, pretty, kind of vaguely country sounding thing, because major pentatonic will sound country. 10, 13. Bendies. So you got. And then there's some double stoppies right there, 10 and 10, getting that 12. Again, gingerly, delicately, accurately, only getting that, this one here. That 12 on the D, I'm not going. No. Watch how I had to rotate my hand to get that. That's a big deal. I have to play the whole phrase together, though. Yeah, the last part is slide down, 12, 10, 8. You can see that. And I think as I crossfaded, I did like a more pentatonic there, 15, 13. And then sixth is is. You could barely hear because I think at that point I cut across. But anyway, uh, this is where I don't like counting when I'm this high up on the fretboard. Hmm. 17s, 15s. And then that is a 14 and a 13. I have a video called How Sixth Fills Work. Bing! There it is, where I explain how sixes, sixes work. They're a big deal. They're, they sound really great. The main, and so this is interesting on a variety of levels. So we went through the layers of cage that connect these, which I do think are important. The interesting thing is this is doing the thing where he's not following the changes. I mean, I could have transcribed debris, um, but I, I didn't feel the need to. I was like, it's okay to just kind of phrase it like Ronnie. But I, I tried to phrase it like Ronnie. So he's doing the thing where instead of following each chord up the fretboard, he's just cruising. He's just cruising along one scale and just making the phrases really good, which please remember, that is always something that you can do. I teach a lot about playing to changes, but remember, for me, it's more useful for rhythm guitar parts and layering than it is for smoke and smoke and leads. If you don't have to play to changes, don't. If the song kind of just stays in one key, focus on making a really memorable, juicy, emotive, engaging solo, however that means. And for me, that means keeping my, my technique like, you know, right in the middle there so I can focus on articulation and emotion. I don't, I don't try, I never try and gas it anymore. I haven't had, there's always, I'd, I'd rather just use a pedal and some delay if I want more stuff going on. That's all. That's all we got for today. Uh, shout out to my friend Sally who, who made this shirt. She's starting a company. I'll put the link below. Cool shirt, man. Check it out. Yeah. Ooh, there's.
there's an there's a new ding. Let me see where did we get that. Oh well, that's that's the thing with fenders. <laughs> you know, like every new ding, you're like, eh, it's just a new one. Uh, all right. Thank you so much to all you who support me and keep me in business. Be it like, subscribe, share. That that you know generates. Thank you so much to everybody who supports me in all the ways that you do. Be it like, subscribe, and share. That you know helps out with the algorithm, which generates website traffic. On my website, you can book one-on-one -on -one sessions with me. You can check out Patreon and see all the sorts of things that I offer there. Or you can check out the courses I make in partnership with the folks at TrueFire.com. That's my biz right there. That's my biz. As Bill and Ted would say, be excellent to each other. That includes yourself. Happy Friday. Eat pizza.